when you watched Robert fight Derek Brunson live, I'm mm-hmm. curious, what, what, what did you make? Like you mentioned that it's a bit different. What was it that you picked up about Rob when you watched that fight live? I wasn't really picking up anything about each guy. I was just mm-hmm. laughing because it was a fucking crazy <laughs> fight. It was funny. Yeah. I was laughing more at Derek and how he was striking because he was shooting from fucking afar and just lunging for way back. And I was surprised Rob was getting hit by those shots. He ain't rocked. And then eventually he came back and knocked him out. And the whole place went bananas. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, yeah, I wasn't really watching it like, ooh, what does he do right? This it was years ago. Mm. Just 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 quickly, Israel, just sort of last thing on the John Jones thing. Are you sick of this narrative, this John Jones, Israel Adesanya narrative? Are you are you a little bit no. over it? I'm over it for now. Like yeah. he uh, He might be helping nervous. Robert Whitaker train for you. Yeah, let him <laughs> like fuck, this is what I mean. Get fucking ISIS. Bring whoever has to help you get ready for this fight because they can't save you. Can no you imagine if you. ISIS helped Rob prepare him for your fight? That would Good. be, that would be a weird up, interview for fuck. us to do with ISIS. So what did you guys do to get <laughs> Wouldn't be a location. Whoever, but, um, I don't, I don't, like, for me, it's just the people that got me to the dance. Eugene Behrman, Andre Paulette, Twister, Adam Johnson, Scooby, Mike Angle, Doug Viney. You know, the list goes on with my training partners as well. The same people that have always helped me get ready, get me ready. And if I have to bring in one new, I bring someone in that we can we can actually use, we can actually get better with. And if mm-hmm. he thinks, if he thinks John Jones is going to help him, look at John Jones' striking. I used, I don't even assault me. Come on, man. <laughs> wrestling, yes. Okay, get John Jones to help you with your wrestling. I, 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 fucking Rob, shoot on me, please. Like, come on. No one's got me down and kept me down. You've done it to the matter. You might be the one. I advise them to shoot on me. Try to keep me down. If not, strike with me. Do your little one, one, two, and then throw your right high kick. Um, do your little oblique kick. Fucking hell. What else? He's good. He's good with the left hook. And that's one thing. No one ever, 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 ever <laughs> ah, fuck it. No one ever makes him, makes him check the left hook. No, no one ever makes You're him. You're giving it all away, check. Israel. I love this. I'll this give him right. the blooper and I'll still whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever makes him respect the left hook like that. No, no one ever, like, makes him hesitate with the left hook. Fucking hell. Just, I advise him to shoot. Straight. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold him. I on him, but I advise him to shoot. <laughs> Straight up, shoot. Oh, the rest will fuck me. Come well, I was gonna, I was gonna mention that because uh, a couple of weeks ago he was on this show and he said that, you know, if you want to sell the fight, that's cool, but he's not a part of it, and you two aren't cool. So it's kind of like he's like, he's like, he's, 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 he's cool with you selling the fight, but he's not a part of it, and he's you, not you two really. aren't cool. What, what do you kind of make of that kind of stance? It's kind of, it's like I'm an not... interesting one. There's a few different kind of thing ways to break that one down. Well, he's not friends this with you. This is why I'm getting paid more than him. There's a reason why I'm getting paid more than him, substantially more than him. There's a reason why my stock is much higher than him. And uh, trust me, if I could, I wouldn't talk sh- like nothing. I wouldn't speak to you guys, you know, as much as I. Oh, Israel, <laughs> come on, man. Like, like, taking us down. Like an aerial, like, like, and we'll just, just get to the fight and fight. But this is part of the game. You have to understand this is part of, you know, prize fighting. You have to get people interested into the fight. And that's why we have these press conferences. And even, oh, God, even at the press conference, you know, people were, oh, he's so mad about the memes. I wasn't mad about the memes. I'm just stating the obvious, which is a guy showing a different character than what he normally does. That's, that tells me a lot about his character. It doesn't bother me. Fucking make all the memes you want. I, I've got over 5,000 memes in my meme folder. <laughs> you know, I'm just a fan of memes. But I'm just saying, why is this guy trying to take my approach like I did with Bronson and use it against me? Like, it just tells me something different about... His approach to this fight and he keeps saying i don't care i don't care i don't care i'm not bothered that just tells me a lot as well like he just keeps showing his hand and trying to look unbothered but hey don't worry you do you boo boo you do you well I, I was wondering what you sort of made of his demeanor when you guys kind of had the back and forth at the press conference do you feel like you've been able to get sort of I, under his skin and is, is I'm that not kind trying of to get, i'm not trying to get under his skin that's another narrative that's that's false i'm not trying to get under his skin i'm just stating facts i'm just stating facts and he backtracked in person and oh, i'm sorry I'm like, well don't be sorry just make better memes at least so it can be funny <laughs> you know but um yeah the only thing i saw that was was when i stared him down like no one else knows everyone knows just looks 
from the outside in, but you're not standing in front of him looking in his eyes. And I said it. I've seen him. You know, he's not a guy that, that's scared. I'm not a guy that's scared. You know, um, yeah, he means business, and so do I. And if he doesn't want to, you know, sell the fight, cool. Don't sell the fight. The fight's already sold itself. I just happen to talk a lot, and I just happen to fucking <laughs> have bars that sell the fight. So, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I know you're not trying to get into his head, but do you think that kind of helps you? Do you think that gives you a bit of an advantage, sort of getting into the fight, if if you were to sort of be able to get into his head? Nah, Rob's not the kind of guy that you don't think he's, like I say, he's a mute, he's a, a bit of a knuckle dragger, he's a throwback, you know, just uh, meats and potatoes, oh, I do my talking in the cage, you know that line? I do my <laughs> talking in the cage. <laughs> I, so do I. Well, I, can, I, I. I'm multifaceted. Uh, I don't think it doesn't, if you get in his head or not, I don't think it makes a difference. At the end of the day, skills, skills pays the bills, you know. So, I mean, check my resume. Come on, man, check my resume. You see, the skills is heavily there. He also he also broke down to us something interesting behind the scenes. When he prepares for opponents, he doesn't like to do anything that they like to do in real life. For example, Brad Tavares, he gave up spear fishing. With Kevin Gastelum, he went as far he what? as not. He gave up what? Spear fishing. Apparently, he's really? an avid spear fish fisherman, and he gave it up when he fought Brad Tavares. And when he fought Calvin Gaslam, he gave up. Get this Mexican food. And we tried to find yeah. out what he was going to give up hey, Gabe, with this fight with you, but he didn't really say much. Oh. And what he said, and Mike. Gabe was just telling me about this when I said I have this interview soon, and he said something about and mine, and someone said. And I was like, what do you mean? And he said, anime. Someone just pronounced it wrong. Oh, that, was that was me. That was me. That was me. It was years. Wrong. I'm 30 years old. For 30 years. Oh, I've been... my. I'm 30 years old. I just turned 30 years old. Good. 30 <laughs> years. And I, I watch Anna. Gabe's a fan. We'll send him a shirt. Shirt coming your way, Gabe. We're making a submission ready at Anna. My mom's going to wear it. It'll be great. Yeah. Anna. Uh, yeah. And he didn't want to give up his Anna because of you. What about that? Oh, really? He gave up Mexican Who food we, we pose it to him. Like saying, I said, see, okay, that's that just says something as well. Like I said, each other fight, he's given up something. But now suddenly with me, he's not going to give up anything. And suddenly with me, he's a- acting out of character. I got these boys acting out of character. That's what I'm trying to say. Use your eyes. Use your Sharingan. If you know what that is. If you watch some Anime, you know what a Sharingan is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it just it, he's acting out of character. Why? No, well, give up. Don't give up. I don't care. Whatever. Do your thing. Do you, boo-boo. Do you. Bobby